When it comes to drawing the head freehand, there are many methods used by many different artists. One of the most popular and, in my opinion, the most effective out there is the Loomis method. The Loomis method was developed by artist Andrew Loomis many years ago as a way to construct and draw the head from any angle. Unlike the grid method, which is limited by photo reference, once you master the Loomis method, you'll be able to draw the head from any angle, from photograph, life, and even from your imagination. Here's how it works. The head can be simplified into two geometric shapes, a sphere for the cranium and a boxy wedge shape for the jaw. Let's examine the sphere shape. This shape is formed by taking a perfectly round sphere and cutting off the sides. This puts it closer to the shape of the real head. And you can examine this for yourself. The top of the head isn't perfectly spherical, but rather it's mostly round on the top with the sides being somewhat flat. Now let's see how we can use this information to draw the head from the front view. We'll start with a circle. We'll trim off the sides in a bit, but first let's put in the center line. The center line is an imaginary line that runs down the center of the face. From the front view, the center line will be right in the middle of the face and just a straight line. Even though the center line won't actually show up in the finished portrait, it's a very helpful tool for visualizing the shape as a three-dimensional object. Next, let's locate the brow line. The head will be looking straight ahead, so the brow line will be right in the middle of the circle and leveled with the ears. Next, let's locate the hairline. The hairline will be about two-thirds of the way up from the brow line. So, if we just divide the top portion of the circle into thirds, the hairline will be right about here. The bottom of the nose will be about two-thirds of the way down from the brow line. So, we can just take the measurement we got for the hairline, bring it down, and mark the bottom of the nose. Lastly, the chin will also be the same distance down from the nose. So, once again, we'll take the same measurement, bring it down from the nose, and mark the bottom of the chin. Notice how the face is divided into three equal parts. From the hairline to the brow line, from the brow line to the nose, and from the nose to the chin. This is known as the rule of thirds, and it's a very effective tool for measuring the proportions of the face. Of course, not every face will conform perfectly to this rule. Some people will have bigger forehead and shorter chin, but this is a great starting point. Okay, so now let's trim off the side of the circle to bring it closer to the shape of a real head. That's not really an exact rule for how much to take off here. I like to take off just enough to give the circle a slight oval shape. As you draw more and more heads, you'll develop a sense for how much to trim off, and then erase the extra lines. When looking at the head from the front view, we'll be able to see a little bit of the sides. We can represent this by drawing two thin ellipses on the sides. Unlike normal ellipses, these ones are going to be a little more pointy at the ends. Also, notice that the ellipses correspond with the hairline and the bottom of the nose. Now let's draw in the lower portion of the face. First, we'll roughly estimate the width of the chin. Next, we'll attach the jaw. The sides of the jaw usually taper in a bit as it moves down. There are two rhythm lines that connect the side of the face to the corners of the chin. These lines represent the separation between the front plane of the face and the side planes. Now let's add the neck for some support. And our simplified head is complete. I'll just go over it one more time and darken and clean up some of the lines. From here, we can add in the features. We'll cover exactly how to do this in the future lessons. If you want to learn more about portrait drawing, check out my Portrait Fundamentals course. It's a very beginner-friendly course that walks you through all the basics of portraiture, from constructing a basic head, facial proportions, drawing the features, and finally, drawing a realistic portrait step by step. You can learn more about it by going to mydrawntutorials.com forward slash portrait, or clicking on the image on the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy drawing.